Welcome, in this video we'll be taking a look at using Reaper, the new legendary DPS Elune, against an alliance boss battle, Damocles, and why that she is pretty good for using against this boss. One of the things about this boss is that if you use a skill that does not consume any souls, then your damage is greatly reduced. However, if you do use souls for anything, even buffing, not just attacking, then you will take damage from the boss. Your entire team will take a damage. That's why using Reaper in this situation does give you an advantage, as that she doesn't take the boss damage at all, because she can evade it as long as she's in the back row, and you have something in the front row that is surviving. So for that, we're going to be demonstrating it. First off, we'll start off by buffing with Weiwei Wei just to get the attack power up, and as you can see, she evaded the damage completely. Everybody else took damage, but of course they could immediately heal because of the Freya that I bought, making sure that they're not dying. As you can see, the attack is greatly reduced when not using souls. As I don't have enough to use most of their skills, I'm having to use the their first skill. As you can see though too, she is applying her debuffs, meaning that the boss can't be healed now, nor can he gain any buffs, but that's not a problem anyway with this boss. Now we can actually start using other skills to attack the boss and do damage. As you can see, every time that a skill is used, she evades the damage. She can use soul skills and do decent damage while not taking any damage at all. This makes her very good for this boss as that you don't have to worry about keeping her alive or any heals for her in particular. She also applies the bleeding effect and the boss cannot resist those as the boss is unable to. so she does land them all because the boss will always have her mark on it. This means that every time the boss does get a turn, he takes a good amount of damage as the as the bleeding damage that she applied, meaning that she is useful again, and not just the damage aspect, but also for the bleed to keep the three turns of bleed on there, meaning that you have to apply it once every few turns. Freya is mainly here just to keep everybody alive because of her passive healing ability. As you can see, the soul damage to the boss from the bleed effects that takes that happens after he takes a turn is quite significant. As you can see, she does do good damage. As of right now, the boss isn't hitting hard enough for me to have to put up the Weiwei Wei buff, so I'm not going to bother with it right now, as the Freya is keeping everybody healed. Mostly I'm just using skill ones with the support, as they don't do significant damage anyway. I mainly just want to use, in this case, my Arslan and Caroline for doing the the main damage as long as as well as the reaper with its skill 2 for bleed As you can see, this is a pretty straightforward thing. My other illusions are somewhat tanky, so that does help them out. But in this case, the Reaper is not transcendent at all and doesn't have enough tanky stats to survive in most cases. But in this case, against this boss, it is perfectly fine, as it won't die as long as the front line, in this case Weiwei, is still alive. 
So as long as the Weiwei Wei is alive, I don't have to worry too much about the Reaper at all because it doesn't take damage. As you can see, every time that the boss does the soul damage, it will always evade. Whereas everyone else is taking damage, this one doesn't. I'll now put up the Weiwei Wei buff just to give extra stacks to the Caroline, but also to go ahead and provide some a little bit better because the boss does hit harder now. Putting up the shield with Freya isn't very useful because the shield doesn't do much against this boss as most of the damage that you encounter will be soul damage, it ignores the shields anyway. Or whatever barrier that you put up, so using them is pretty useless. So Freya is mainly here just to spam skill 1 on the boss and provide the passive healing every time something gets attacked or counterattacked. And as you can see it's working out quite nicely. I haven't had to use any of her heals yet because they're because her passive healing ability is keeping everything topped off and at max HP all the time. You can see the damage that it that it's doing from the bleed effects in addition to the damage that it does with the skill does make it do pretty good damage. Of course it's not as much as compared to the Arslan, but the Arslan is on a full DPS type build and the Reaper is still, in my case, is still low node transcendence and not in a, the best gear yet. As you can see too for this one, the ultimate skill is ready quite often. Then it doesn't cost as much souls as it does give a soul as it does give souls back every time I use it. And now, as you can see, with having her on the violent set of gear, it gave her a turn instantly, and you can see that the ultimate skill is now down to a one turn cooldown instead of two meaning I can use it again after this turn on our next one. I'll be able to use it again doing good damage. So whereas it's not instant killing on the bosses, it is something that I can use to do good damage to the boss on a fairly consistent basis, and it reduces the cost of the skill by reducing the soul cost of it. As in most boss fights, Caroline is going to be the hardest one to keep alive just because she has no defenses at all, that's why Freya really does help, but in this case shields aren't exactly something that's going to do much. See, so as you can see now, the Reaper Ultimate skill is back available again, and as it says, if you can, if it's immune to instant kill like this boss is, I gain two souls back and decrease the cooldown by one turn. So let's see, this costs six souls, I have ten available, so I should have, it'll go down to four, and then bring it back up to six. And as you can see, it's at six, which is where it should be. Meant, meaning that normally if I was using two ultimate skills at 6 then I wouldn't be able to do it. As the Arzlan does have a debuff on here to increase soul consumption by 2, I can still use his special skill for the souls just because I gained, I now have 6 back. It essentially for boss fights makes the skill only cost two souls but also able to use every other turn, which is pretty good. Yeah. 
The boss is almost dead, and his ord's about to have its rage at max stack, so I'm not too concerned with going ahead and protecting anything because they don't need to stay alive because they'll all be one shot momentarily anyway. And yes, the one shot does work against the Reaper too because it is a soul effect that happens, so it will kill her. She cannot evade that. In this case, there's no point in using Caroline's skill too, as she's not going to get another turn to be able to make it useful. So for now, since he's at 100% rage, I just want to do as whatever damage I can finish off with, just to go ahead and get whatever I can done. See, as you can see, she avoids the initial damage, but the soul damage is still there. So, as you can see, for the the Alliance boss, whenever using it, the Reaper does do very good here. As you she can still run it with being squishy and still do very helpful things like applying the bleed effects which does soul damage to the boss and she can also use her ultimate skill quite often meaning that you can use it with the reduced cooldown she also doesn't take the debuffs because she is evading the attacks that land the debuffs therefore she isn't going to have that increased soul cost to her skills meaning that her skills will always be the four and six and in this case since it's not since it's not instant killing it's four and four souls and she can use it quite often it does make her pretty good for uh, killing this boss and that's going to be it for this video and a look at reaper against the alliance boss Democles. thank you and if you have any questions leave them below